Morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. We're back again like the renegade master. We've got a bit of a mess to tidy up in here. Yesterday's wood cutting and plastic cutting, which although it wasn't fully health and safety compliant after I was talking about it the other day, yes, I cut some stuff without a face shield on. I don't often do it, but I did it. Naughty boy. So yeah, we've got to tidy this lot up, but first I'm gonna go and get the bitter mashed in. As I spoke about yesterday as well, not the most exciting beer in the world, but certainly one that people enjoy to drink quite regularly. So we'll go and get dowed in ASAP. Uh, the quicker we do that, the quicker we get to put the tanks down to clean, and the quicker I can get. <laughs> The quicker I can be getting on with something else uh, while this yummy beer ferments away in the tanks. I'm hoping, of course, to get the doors finished. Here they are. These are the doors that we made yesterday. Uh, they want painting. I want a chalkboard up here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm hoping to put the freaking vacant gesture logo and the bitter logo and stuff like that on them. I think they look pretty cool. Don't know if I'm going to be able to do it very easily or not. I might even cheat and get it printed by Sharon up at the top of Iron Tree if she can do it for me. So, let's get freaking mashed in, boys. Shirt's coming off and all. You'll have to ignore a lot of it today. I've got an old Idle Valley shirt on. Hey, okay. don't knock the heritage. The company doesn't exist anymore. I'm allowed to wear it, right? 80 degrees. Exactly what we want. <laughs> transferring into the boil kettle I've decided that I'm gonna mock up a closure for the doors on the cold room so I've come up with something that looks a little bit like this I've changed the idea once or twice since I put this together I'm just popping the screw back in and you'll be able to see so there we go, it's almost like a train signal system. So that would be closed, so the door's gonna be behind that section. And then when you lift it up, it will either fall back onto a rest like this. I'm mocking up some wider versions here. Or I'm gonna have it so it just stays upright and it can't go past a certain point. But I think that is kinda of gonna work. Um, It'll be easier than the bolts because I won't have to take the bolts out and of course we used to lose the bolts on the last one that I made. So this means that the uh, the closing system is always going to be uh, connected to the cold room so you ain't going to lose it. So I'm just going to cut all these out now, rounded the tops on these scrap pieces of plywood and then we'll chop up a few scrap pieces of uh, 3x2 and this isn't deep enough actually so I'm gonna have to create some type of packer to just bring it off the wall a little bit or fail that I'll actually just put some screws in the back and then when I screw it to the original piece those screws will make it stand off but I can still screw it down tight if you get my drift so if I can't find the right size packer I could cut one on the table saw but for the sake of four screws I might just go ahead and do that. Right, over to the bandsaw. Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> These 
are the actual closures that we've got on there. Excuse the noise from the radio. So it's as simple as that. There we go, and then we're in. Push it shut. And also, these are on screws at the back, so I can make that, I can wind that forwards and backwards. So if they start to wear, I can bring it back to tighten it. And also, what I might do is just pop a washer behind this screw and a washer behind it at the back, and then we should get a nice um, action, a little bit of longevity, and in, in, it's because it's basically a hinge, and it's hinging on that screw head. So I don't really want to wear the screw head out too quick. So I might just do that on all of these, and then we're pretty much sorted and ready to put the cooling side of the cold room together. Right, I finally got around to transferring. Uh, we're putting the bitter now into the fermenter, uh, and I've also got blackboards painted into the corners, which I think is gonna look pretty smart. So somebody asked me in the comments the other day about um, the heating element for the heat sealer, and I said I couldn't find any. I forgot that I actually did, and I ordered them. But these are a bit of a punt. They might not necessarily fit my heat sealer. So uh, these are 300 mil long, near chrome elements for the heat sealer. So what I did last time, because they were a little bit too long, was I uncrimped the ring terminals on the end, cut it down and then crimped them back on again. I don't know whether that changes the resistance of the wire and increases the heat or anything, but it's not burnt out yet. So, for those of you that need to purchase some of these, it was from uh, eBay, but this was the company. Printings and Banners. And it was called 12 by 300 impulse sealer heat wire element and Teflon tapes heat sealing machine. So uh, if you can find them and you think they're suitable, go for it. But uh, don't hold me responsible if they don't fit. You off back to work, Chick? Yeah. Woohoo! Look at the smile. Oh, I the sun comes on. <laughs> so uh, yeah, good Friday tomorrow. So. Gemma was smart enough to process the wages the day before, just in case the bank's closed. I don't know how it works, transferring. No, nor do I. So I thought, better say sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Right, well, uh, I've got to set up for a clean once this transfer's done. I think I'll be done within the hour, maybe two, yeah. So if I have to hang on for anything, I'll go and sit in the beer garden and have a pint while this is recirculating, eh? Nice. It's lovely and sunny outside. And through there you can see the blossom on the on the tree at the other side of the window or well, maybe not if it's too washed out you can't there we go check that out it's pretty smart Oh, you can't beat the glorious sunshine. So we're out here on what's known as Spa Common in Retford. This used to be the common where people were allowed to graze their sheep and all that kind of jazz. And it's literally 350 yards away from the brewery. So it's a lovely place to just come and walk the dog down the side of the canal. You're not going in after ducks, are you, buddy? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Not a soul in sight. Not a freaking soul in sight. You'll get some people sat on here in the summer holidays having picnics and what have you. But it's generally quite a clean area. You know, people pick the dog poo up and that kind of stuff, so it's a joy to walk through. And a nice break from the monotony of the brewery. It's not monotonous, I'm kidding. He's found a stick. Oh, or a lump of wood at the very least. He's gonna chew it, buddy. He's just gonna chew it. I'm gonna throw it, do you? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold the camera still, folks, and throw this bit of wood. There he goes.
Bring it then, lad. Bring it. Is that it? Oh, wait. Bring it. Oh, my goodness. You lazy fella. So I'm home, it's quite early actually, it's uh, 20 past 4, I'm going to go and have a beer, I mean I've had a really good day and all, but I just fancy sitting in the beer garden that I built all year and uh, enjoying the sunshine while it's out because it's absolutely scorching out there. Just one little bit of bad news, I've got like three and a half grand on a credit card which we used to build the brewery, um, they've written to tell me that my uh, interest-free balance transfer period's run out so now I'm gonna have to pay £60 a month extra on interest fees gotta get that damn thing cleared off sharpish so uh, yeah I should really go down to the pub and put some money over the bar so I can get some money and clear my credit card does that make sense Maybe it does. <laughs> anyway, I'm kidding. So let's shoot down there and have a drink. Uh, I might even take the camera with me. If anything happens, it'll be next. If not, we'll see you tomorrow. Provided I'm not hungover. I shouldn't be. I'm going to work. <laughs> 